Happy Sunday to you, my beloved. In Christ Jesus Christ, we came under his blood of redemption so he can cleanse us to hold unities and transgressions and sins so we can fix our life day by day so we can be able to receive him because in the time we are living is not the whole testament we are in the new testament we can say even the third one because the revelation of seven seal that's been uh, open for us it was not for us to remain the same it's for us to take position and that position is not the position we are taking it when we put our name in one book of church we've been registered as a member you see so from there we can say now we've been registered already in the church of god so we've been saved we have nothing to fear so we are already prepared we can do anything we can do so some of the time we can go in front of the priest we confess uh, our sins and transgression it means it's become a way where you can go and fix your life for a few time then you return to do the same things remember that it was in the whole testament the people was doing it because there was us under the blood of animals you see the sheep it was under the blood of uh, doves all of those the, the things that was brought to the church so the priest can do uh, the ceremony and they put their hands on top of their sacrifice and they pray god forgive them that it was that time but to remember this animal doesn't have a soul that can save you that's why and that old testament it was only covering their sin but it doesn't it, it, it it's never removed their sin completely there was all of them wait until when the lamb of god came himself the lamb that god provided himself in the time of abraham remember when god asked abraham his son isaac as a sacrifice amen what happened we saw Abraham as was believed in God and in everything else that faith we have, we must have in us. We have to believe in God 100%. Don't listen to the devil who always came to you to tell you, you fell here. Look at you did this. Look at you are like this. Look at what the people are saying about you. Look at this. Look at that. No. Don't stand on it. Stand in God's way. The only things that will transform you. Because that possession, we are told king of Holy Spirit in us so we can, we can be transformed. Because that transformation is not to change, to get another body or to get another life. Yes, we have, yes, of course, we have another body if this body been destroyed. Because this body, body will be destroyed. Why? As we saw our brothers and sisters passed away, it was because of what? Because we born in unity in the transgression as uh, the servant of god david the king prophet said that in the book of psalm 51 you see praying the lord doing uh, confessing and uh, uh, repenting himself says what lord i born in the sin i born in unity you see my mother delivered me delivered me in the sin so you need the truth come to me the truth came when you remain remember in the day of pentecost 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 when they've been there and the, the place the lord says to them stay here until you receive the power of holy spirit that can transform you that possession we need all of us in the time we are living brothers and sisters so we can be saved what happened remember i just come to remind you if you have this deep deepness inside of you you'll see what you are listening it will produce that possession so it can brought you to examine everything to analyze every most of the things 
each and of point of the things happen in your life so that from that you are listening to brought you through in front of the Lord by the prayer. As the Lord Jesus Christ says, you get inside of your room, you close your room. You see, when the kids are in school, when you didn't go to work, when you are at all, you see, you consecrated that time. You see, you talk to the Lord, Lord, till today I didn't get position on your what you said, on your scriptures. I listened to one poor man standing there always reminding me I have to take position in Christ. I didn't yet understand what it means taking position in Christ because I'm a member of such, such church. But him always came, he said, being a member of one church is not a salvation. It means you put just your name in the book of that denomination. But you need to find your name in the book of life. Remember the scripture of today, the revelation of seven seals being written in the book of Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to 7, verse 7. You see, that we came to talk about it on what we're going to read here. If you read on the first verse, you see, I see another mighty angel. The Bible talks about mighty angel. Remember when John, divine, was there in heavenly place when he saw the kingdom of God, was afraid, he would be terrified. You could not understand exactly what happened, but one angel came near him to start and explain to him. Without the angel of God made flesh, where you are, you will not find a way, you will not understand the nothing. And this door of your soul will be full of the things coming from the fifth dimension where the devil with his false angels, they are coming here through this fourth dimension to brought the people away from the will of God. That's why we talk about the souls are in prisons. Because when they came here, they didn't find you. When the peoples are here to represent this kingdom of Satan, if they didn't find you with the light of the world, Christ, the light being revealed in the time you are living in, this light is Nowhere, it's only where the seal been revealed in the Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to verse 7 because Christ came regarding on the scripture of Acts chapter 1 verse 9 to 11. Remember the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ stand in the mountain on that day when the Lord was leaving them and going back home. He's the only one rapturing, being taken away and the eyes of people but being looked to him like this because he didn't born in the sin. You see? He didn't born in the desire of relationship of men and women that, been pro that produce a human being via sex. That the devil started. Let me say the word clear. You see, I cannot hide it. We are living in the time the things have been sealed in this book being revealed. You see, when the seventh angel of God, the prophet Branham, when he came, he didn't come to talk about him as the people, they are looking the popularity. And they took the people, they brought them down here. You see, harder they knows. We are serving the devil because we serve our, we sell our soul to him. So all the soul will come in our denomination. We were going to brought them in this prison. But the hardest, we are doing, they are doing it without even uh, they, they, and, they, unconsciously. They didn't know what they are doing exactly. It's a risk when you are standing behind of the pulpit and you are not there brought the real way, the right interpretation of the word, that it can produce that position. It can change the mind of people to take the mind of knowledge from the school, from the theology, all of those things we went to learn for us to survive day by day to find how to work and do one, two, three for uh, the, the bread of every day. It is not that we 
are looking when we came here to worship the Lord, when we came to listen to the word of God. Here we came to listen to, to listen the mind of Christ. And the mind of Christ is the mind of Jehovah. The mind of God, eternal life, the eternal Lord, the eternal God who created heaven and earth. The man was in him. He did pronounce it in Genesis chapter, chapter, chapter 1. You see, when he spoke, the spoken word created the invisible life. When he came to Genesis chapter 2, he spoke, the spoken word made us in this world we are living. Do you understand? So if we try to take our mind, to put it on the mind of Christ, that God's mind, which is the word who created heaven and earth, we are completely loosed. We are completely living in death. It means we passed away already. For us to come back in life, we need to recognize the scripture that's been promised for us. We have to get to leave that mind away, to confess our sin, to repent ourselves. Lord, I didn't yet believe. Until today, I did understand I'm an unbeliever, man or woman. Because as long as you, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, as the Apostle Paul says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our doctrine of, we are, of, the, of, of the scripture we are preaching here is Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Remember, if it's the same yesterday, today, and forever, today, and forever, forever in the Garden of Eden, what happened? When just they brought the scripture, they brought a wrong interpretation from the devil who dwelt in the serpent. You see, what happened? The death took place. The sickness took place. You see, the jealous, all of those things, the head took place. You see, why all of those things took place? Because God's scripture being wrongly interpreted. Did I understand? Where the scriptures it, 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 it interpreted or preached correctly, perfectly regarding it to the promise of the time you are living. Remember the people today are preaching us the past. They took the life of Jesus Christ in past and they brought it for us here. But the manner in the whole testament, the Lord say you can eat it only today and finish it today. If it's still, you have to throw it away. Because tomorrow I will provide again for you. The Lord in every time, in every age, is provide always the food, the spiritual food for us. That's why we came with the scripture being promised in the time we are living. If yourself in your mind, you see, as I'm going in such, such church, such, such denomination, there I put my name in the book that belongs to the God because it's the house of God. But the interpretation where you are going never changed, never brought that position of the Holy Spirit that can transform you to get the mind of Christ. Because the mind of Christ came with Zoe. And Zoe is the Spirit of God, is God Himself, the Holy Ghost, in you to prepare you so the people can see you as a sinner man, but God see you as a perfect man for Him. You see, as the devil, when he came to the Lord, God said, Lord tells, He wanted to accuse, let me just say it like this. Because you always present there to accuse us. Because their voice, when they say something for you, for me, for my sister, their voice, when they're accusing us, when we're accusing one another, all of those voices, they stay as the, end, the spiritual energy and they're going in the presence of Almighty. Almighty God. 
Because if you read in the book of Psalm here, the Bible says it controls everything. As we preach in French here, regarding on what it says to Job, Job is prophet here in the chapter 38. Then it says, so all those voices came in his ears. If you read it in the book of Psalm 104, I don't want to give you many scriptures. You see? So when he goes near the Lord, he say, Lord said to him, look at my servant Job. He's perfect servant. I have no, you have nothing to correct in him. He's not like us. You see? When they accuse you, they find something in you. But not all. Because some of the things also they're accusing us is not like this. But the Lord knows our heart. Knows what it was intent of us is a will of to help. So Satan said, no, I know. He's a perfect man, as you said, but he have a, a, he have a good life. You see, he's a good, he have a good life, that life that why is always believing you, is trusting you, is always there with you. The Lord said, okay, no problem. I give you his life, but don't touch in his life. I give you like the Lord gave him, like what? To go with his temptation. And he went with his temptation. He did what? When he arrived to Joe, he said, okay, uh, let me start with, the rich, uh, with his riches. He started to destroy the farmer, all of those things. It was, belongs to him. When he finished with that, burn all of those things, all the sheep and the uh, what I can say, all the things he did has, and he get in inside of his family. He took his uh, kids, his child, and after that, a woman stand there and say, oh, what happened exactly? The devil went again to her wife. I say, talk to him, say to him this, and the wife came to his husband and said, your situation has come so mm, mm, badly. Mm -hmm. You share so badly because this sickness, you see the water is coming out. You cannot survive like this. Eh? Better you passed away. Just say something bad to God so you will pass away. Because it will bring the hang of God, then you will pass away. Joe, look at his. Israel, Joe. Look at her wife, he said, the Lord God gives, and the Lord God took back. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. I love that. The Lord gave, and the Lord took back. Lord, let the name of the Lord be praised. You see, the prophet Pralam said, when Job pronounced that phrase, it did the vibration in the heavenly place. The vibration that is the angel said, Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hosanna. Do you understand? And from there, God came and restored Job. It's the same thing with our life. We have firstly to analyze ourselves. We have simply to ask some of the questions, many questions inside of us. Why these things happen like this? Why this? Why since I believe, but I still lack the same? But I've been called to be changed. Remember what the Lord Christ says. When someone came to me, he must change. He will not remain the same creature. He must change the image he did took when he born. You see, because he came, he left his theophany here. When he born here, you see, he came directly with the image of the devil. And most of the people that are thinking the devil today is the way they're representing him with the, no, with the dark clothes, no. The devil today is someone standing behind of a pulpit, wear nicely. Is someone on the street, beautiful with makeup. Is someone one, two, three. 
that is the effect because is this dimension is already here you see and those one that in christ also christ is coming with them here we are living in the time those both spirits are here in this world we are living on the first dimension do you understand the lord says that in the book of matthew chapter 24 you see the two spirits are here the devil spirit is here and the spirit of god also is here god is always calls you you always hear one voice tells you you always hear one voice did you listen to that voice you do obey that voice or you just reject when that voice tells you deeply but you always listen to that voice it came with big voice you see that's why you always took control of your five senses your imagination your reasoning your uh, affection your all that five senses inside of your spirit you always listen to that voice because you forget that voice is took control of your spirit already but that voice it's come always down talk to you humbly like it's not god it is god who tells you the right things don't do that don't go here don't listen to that don't to make don't 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 but you don't listen you do you continue you say you act on such way do you understand what i mean why we be trying to explain to you this morning you see but john stand with the will of the Lord God. Do you understand? He didn't want to change his position. He said, I cannot lose all of those things, but he is the one he gave. If I allowed this to happen in my life, oh, I will be standing here trusting me. He said to his, to his wife, to her wife, go away to me. You talk like a, a foolish woman. You see, that woman doesn't have a knowledge of God. All this time we remain me and you, you cannot speak, speak like this. You see, stand with God's will. In a time he was living, it was the perfect will of God a person in such a situation. You see, did you analyze some of the things happened in your life? Did you go under, uh, under his feet by your knees? Say, Lord... I know. Lord, I remember. Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm a human being, Lord. I did many, Lord, but you still keep me alive. I know you can do more. That is, I cannot even imagine about. This is a time for you to recognize which scripture been revealed in the time you are living. Abraham, our father, he recognized God when he made flesh. He took a human being flesh. He came to visit Abraham with Michael Angel and Gabriel Angel. Three of them, they went to Abraham. They eat. Abraham watched their feet. To understand, they talk with Abraham. Why? Because Abraham stand, analyze everything, obey God in everything. But he was a human, he born in sin like us. He was a human being who was facing also some mistakes in his life. But he never abandoned the vision he was receiving from God and the dreams God was showing to him. He was always stand with God's spoken word. That has been promised to him. Come out, I will do to you a great nation all the people under the sun will be blessed by you abraham my servant my friend god did covenant with abraham so if abraham our father recognize see lord almighty god came to him from that day, Abraham didn't steal the same. His life been transformed. The prophet of God said, Abraham came as a young boy of 
18 to 25 years. It was so powerful inside of him. The people can see that is how, but in he was being transferred because the power of possession, the Holy Spirit came to him. You understand? Transform him because God is that in. So the people will see that manifestation out. You see, that happened to you. And Sarah was there behind of Elohim didn't believe on what God promised to his husband. You will have a son, Isaac, Isaac. But the Lord said to Abraham, Sarah, your wife, doubt. She tried to deny it. Oh, that was so terrible. But God cannot punish Sarah because of what? Because of the faith of Abraham was believed completely in God and the promise fulfilled. It's the same things for us to recognize hello him God in human being flesh as he came to manifest it among us today. We have to find out the scriptures, the man have been provided for us in the day we are living. We cannot take the manner of yesterday. It will kill us. That's the Lord. That said the Lord. Those who one that tried to eat the manner of yesterday, they've been passed away. In the desert, when there was one king from Egypt to the land of promise, that match is the same of the match we are living today. He's in, in the book of Ephesians, our match. And read very well that book of Ephesians says what for us? We're going to read it next Sunday. You see? So let us stand one another. Take position in this world to discover which manner we have to eat. That's one being rejected for yesterday because those people of yesterday in the Old Testament, they are already in the presence of God because the Lord Jesus Christ paid the price in the cross as a lamb, a perfect lamb of God, and his soul that came out from his blood, the life of Christ came from, the, from his blood, this life is Zoe, because the seed of life that came to produce the son inside of Mary, you see, the Virgin Mary, you see, that blood, that seed of blood, you see, came to enter to Mary to build the son. It didn't come from the sex. They didn't have sensation. Joseph didn't touch, did, it, did nothing. That's why I'm saying to Virgin perfect. You see, so the Lord came and put that seed of life. And when he passed away, the spirit, the life come out from that blood is the Holy Spirit. He came to dwell in you is God once more in the time we are living in the third dispensation of Holy Spirit. Because the first dispensation of one God, we believe only one. The first dispensation it was the dispensation of the Father. The secondly one, Christ came, the dispensation of Son. Same God came himself, put the seed of life, came from him. That is own blood. And produced one son, born Christ. That's why I say in the book of John chapter 14. When Philip asked the question, he said, Many years, many times I've been here with you, Philip. You didn't see the father. Who recognize me? Who see me? See the Father. Who recognize me? Recognize the Father. That's what I'm doing here. It's not from me. It's from Father. I'm doing these things. Do you understand that? It's very, very important to understand in the time we are living, which manner we are eating. That can bring to us this position, can transform us like Abraham. The people could not believe a man of 100 years with her wife of 75 years, they can have a son. 
That's what Sarah tried to doubt. Elohim, God, made flesh. Do you understand? Why? Because she, she was looking on her physical condition. You see? She was looking on her physical state. And become old. How can I get, get, have a desire with my, my Lord, Abraham? You see? But that said the Lord, with Lord, that the highest can see doesn't have nothing in the presence of the Lord. When the Lord said no, is no. When the Lord yes, yes. That is the perfect word of God. So what happened? The scripture being fulfilled, the promise of God being fulfilled, Sarah get Isaac. And from Isaac, Jacob and Jacob, 12 children of Israel came from Jacob and built this wonderful nation of Israel. Should I understand that? It's so deeply. That possession needs to transform you. The people can see you the way they know you, but inside of you, you are not the same. Because you cannot remain the same. The only one can remain the same is God. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You see? So how can we recognize that scripture being promised in the time we are living? Because we are not living in the time of the apostles. We are not living in the time of Moses. We are not living in the time of David. You see? We are living in the time of the bride of Jesus Christ. He came to manifest it. The ministry, you see, of seven seal. So the faith you need to have is the revelation of Christ in us. That's the only thing that can build the really faith in you. So by which way will you be able to get that faith in you? Read what the Lord always promised. Amen. We are reading in the book of Prophet Amos, chapter 2, from verse uh, 6 to verse uh, 7, even 8. For the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us read. Amen. Does the word trumpet sound in a city without making the people afraid? Does Disaster struck a city unless the Lord send it. Seven. The sovereign Lord never does anything without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. Remember, Abraham was a prophet of God. Joseph was a prophet of God. For them to be saved... Because the death was in front of them. They're supposed to go to Egypt to discover the person who've been sold by themselves in the cheaper money is Judah, sell the Lord Jesus Christ. He become a premier, a premier minister in Egypt. And Pharaoh was reigning only. The only person he was there took the place of Pharaoh, it was Joseph. Look at God's miracle. When the scripture fulfilled. You see? God always manifests ill will by his servant, the prophet. is revelation, like today, by his servant prophet. You see? You go, Samuel was a prophet of God. By him, the word of God came. Moses, all of them. That's the way God always do his things. If you didn't recognize the sound, the sound is the gospel of the time you are living. That is the sound of the, the trumpet. We are singing when the trumpet shall sound, the dead, the dead, shall, the dead shall rise, and our Lord will be waiting in skies. Who we will remain shall be changed in the twinkling of Eyes. In the drinking of your the of the highs will be changed. 
And we are changing by the revelation of the revelation chapter 10, verse 1 to 7. When you get in inside there, you'll be transformed. Let us finish this scripture. The servant Lord never does anything without revealing his plan to his servant, the prophet. When a lion roars, who can avoid to be to be afraid? When the sovereign Lord speaks, who can avoid proclaiming, pro, proclaiming his message? The message of hand time we came to preach you. You see, nothing else because God sent one angel. You see, all the angels are here. Paul came for the time we are living. We have Paul, we have Iron Maiden. That pyramid we put for you here is in English because that one is in French. You see, we have that one is in English here. If you can read it for you and finish. May the Lord God bless you. Amen. Is here with me. Let me read it quickly. So we can understand how Lord is so wonderful and perfect for us. The Lord loves us. You see, my believer, brothers and sisters, you see? Yeah, it's so sweet. Let us read it. We are here, our pyramid. You see, the Holy Ghost love. You see, we have here, Apostle Paul. Yeah, we have it here. We have Martin, we have Columbia, we have Luther, we have Wesley, we have Branham. They are the prophet the Lord sent to us. But let us read the book of Psalm 119. In verse of 29 and uh, verse 129 and 130. Your teachings are wonderful. I obey them with all my heart. The explanation of your teachings gives light and brings wisdom to the ignorant. You see, the only things we need in our life. Is this one we just come to read for you? We explain about all. We just read the scripture for us to finish, also to continue on next Sunday. We need, say, Lord, I need that realization in me. The only things can transform me to get your image because I've been created in your image when you pronounce the word. For the first time, that is the spoken word. I hear to communion with brothers and sisters, but is not here. I will be transformed. If you see, even where you are going, the word doesn't interpret correctly, come out, go where you will find something will transform you. We will continue about it, continue to talk about it, but firstly, you have to recognize what God promised in the time you are living. The scripture that we probably you said, we're going to read it all next Sunday. You see, how many here? We're going to read all of, all of those scriptures. For the time, for the sake of time, may the Lord God bless you. Always teach our children the time is bad. For them to stand with God will end. Always control the TV, because most of the things are behind of the TV are destroying the education of kids in your computer. You must know which age you must give your kids the phone. And when you give her the phone, you or her or him, you must know which age she is or she, he has. Don't just take the phone like this you give to the kid, as long as those Android phone has Google, the kids can go there and we have hi fi. He can go everywhere with these things and find the things that can destroy his soul, his life, or her life. You see, 10 years 
15 years, under 15 years, you cannot keep the food. Even you give after 15 years, you see this one, understand the word of God. He understand he has a fear of God, so I can give him whole herd of food after 15, 15 years. But under, be careful. Do you understand? We have many to say on that, but may the Lord God bless you. Stay with the peace of the Lord. Let us pray one another. Uh, the rest, Lord, will help us to find a solution on, on this. God bless you. Shalom. I leave you.